It's 11 o'clock in the morning, and I'm having a soda. I don't care. I'm home alone. I can do whatever I want. I'm such a rebel. Anyway. Hey, guys. It's Moonlight150 with today's battle. This is an RU battle against the Blasto... Oh, gee. I'm not exactly sure how he likes to say his name. But he likes to go by Blasto, and that's what I shall call him. Anyway, this is an RU battle, and he leads off with Cradley. Is Cradley RU? Or is he NU? I believe he might be... Oh, wait, I don't know. Anyway, I leave off with Sour My Drapion. Um, gonna go for that Brick Break as... What did he go for? I think he went for Reflect or Light Screen. I uh, gotta pay attention to the battle mo It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't do well in the morning. Anyway, obviously this Crady Lee is a wall, and he's gonna keep Stone Edging while setting up rocks and some other shenanigans like that, I think. He gets a crit with the Stone Edge, which is really unfortunate, because now my Drapion's gonna do even less than he's what he's made for. Gonna go for that Brick Break. Why? The walls run up, but it is super effective. It does a good chunk, and another one would easily take it out. So, Drapion would have won this war if it wasn't for that crit, so in the long run, it did kind of matter, because I could have gotten another Brick Break off. But anyway, I'm gonna send out Uxie, and if you notice, this is a little bit sped up. It's sped up by, like, 1.2%. Uh, it was originally a 10-minute match, and it's now reduced down to almost 9 minutes. So, just had to speed it up a little, because with this Cradley, it does stall, because that's what Cradley's... Do. Pokemon like Crady Lee, they like to stall everything. So, uh, Yuxi's in here, I think I set the rocks, and I'm gonna go for the uh, Water Pulse. And this thing is more defense and special defense invested, as you previously saw, maybe? Have I uploaded any battles? But as you can see right there, it took the Stealth Rocks really well. But this is a defense and special defense invested Yuxi. So it doesn't have that much in special attack. I, it's really just made to set up rocks and just take a couple hits. Uh, it has Psychic and Water Pulse and Thunderbolt, I believe. Just to, just to be offensive if it needs, if it needs to be. Uh, so he's gonna go for the Recover when he, I just get him down to that little bit red of health. I'm thirsty. Uh, my Leftovers, his Leftovers, I believe he has. I'm gonna go for that Psychic, see if it does any more than the Water Pulse, and it seems to do actually a lot more. I should have done that in the first place. But I didn't think a Psychic would be a lot more powerful than a Water Pulse on a Rock-type. So, um, he's just stalling, and now you can see why I sped this up, because we'd be here all day. We'd probably still be on back on Drapion if it was back on normal speed. So, so, one more Psychic would do it, but he realizes that Psychic is gonna be like a two-hit KO, mostly. So he's gonna constantly go for the Recover, just so he can get it up to a safe health where he can continue attacking. But, I'm gonna keep going for that Psychic, because... From that range, it should be a 3-hit KO, so we're in this constant loop of um, me Psychic, he recovers, but he's going to go for the C-Bomb because he knows he can live at least one, and now he's going to go for the next recover. But, uh, does it happen here? Oh my gosh! He lives with that little smidge! Uh, but he's going to go for the Stone Edge instead of the recover because I don't think he thought he would either live or maybe he thought he would live better. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go for the second to finally finish off this Cradley, and we're... Half the battle is just fit fighting this Cradley. Damn. So he's gonna bring in Regice. And I hate Regice. I hate any Pokemon that are made in the walls. But stones are gonna do a nice little chunk, and I'm gonna hit it with the Psychic. I'm gonna do even... gonna do absolutely nothing. Especially now that he goes for the Amnesia, which raises his special defense. So this Uxie is becoming less and less useful, or more and more useless, whatever you'd like to say your sentence. Uh, because he's now, he's now plus one special defense, and this thing has no special defense, I mean special attack invested. But I'm gonna try to go for the Thunderbolt for... I don't even know why it does... Oh, well, that was a crit. Uh, I was about to say, why is Thunderbolt doing more than Psychic when it's Psychic a stab? But, uh, Ice Beam's gonna do... Uh, I didn't really see how much I was at beforehand. But I'm at more... I'm around half health right now, and Poison... I think I'm just leaving in Uxie to die so I can stall out the Poison, but... Psychic's doing nothing, that is scary. Ice Beam is gonna do 30, 40 damage, and then Leftovers breaks it up a little bit more. Uh, but he's gonna get his Leftovers. Doesn't recover, actually, a lot, but Poison is racking up now. Uh, one more turn and he should be gone. So I'm just... I'm, why did I go for the Water Pulse? Should've gone for a Thunderbolt or something. Does absolutely nothing, but I will survive the Ice Beams. Powering a crit, yep, I live with 37, gonna get back up to 57 health. And he's gonna get his leftovers, not gonna recover enough because I do believe poison. We'll take him. Ah, you. Mmm! Freaking A. Thunderbolt. Die. Hate walls. 
Anyway, so Red Ice is down. Yuxi has now taken down two walls all by itself with no special de with no special attack invested. At least I don't think it is. He brings in mine in. Uh, he's gonna get poisoned. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go for the. Oh, he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt to finish me off. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any speed investment, so mine would be faster if he does have speed investment. So poisons easily wrecking him. Now I'm gonna bring in Buffalant. And let's see, what do I do? do I go for the head charge? No, he's gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Ow. Minins are fast. Faster than a speed invested Buffalon. Ow, oh, but he's gonna get the paralysis. Unfortunate. And I'm gonna go for that earthquake. Should be super effective. Should be able to knock it out. If not, poison will take care of it. That does take out Minin, and I'm now gonna be slower than everything. And I'm gonna now be in out of 64 red health because of Life Orb. He brings in Red Rock another wall, and I'm thinking, ugh, this match is gonna go on forever. Uh, Stones doesn't do that much, but he get, does get poisoned, so I'm thankful for that. He's gonna go for the- this is actually a cursing set. Curses. Curses on the cursing set. Uh, so he's gonna raise his defense, and I believe his attack is that what raises and curse? Yeah, raises attack and defense, minus his speed. I think I went for the head charge, I believe. Didn't- did absolutely nothing, so this thing is clearly invested in defense and maybe attack. Uh, depending on the cursing set, he does want to raise his attack up. He's gonna go for the rest to rest off this little bit of damage I've done, but I think mostly he just wanted to rest off the poison. So this isn't good. Not good for my Buffalons, because I have no fighting type moves on this thing. There needs to be a head smashing move that's a fighting type attack. But I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna fall to recoil damage. And I have another Reggie staring down at me. First Reggie Ice, then Reggie Rock. All I need is Reggie Gigas now. Anyway, I'm gonna bring in Nevada because I need some cleaning up. Uh, Stones is not gonna do anything to Nevada. Gonna go for the high jump kick, and of course I miss when I need it the most. Gonna bring me down 115 HP. Thankfully, Red Rock is asleep, otherwise I'm pretty sure I would've died by Stone Edge or something by now. But he's gonna go for the sleep talk and gonna get off another curse. Lucky him. So, raises attack and defense. This is not good because high jump kick needs to finish this thing off, but now he's at plus two defense. But I'm gonna go for the high jump kick, just risking it all, gonna hit it, and it will actually do, looks like more than half. Even that's even, real interesting considering how he's at plus two defense already, but I am Adam in sheer force. He's going for the sleep talk and gonna go for another curse. So he's now gonna be at plus three attack and plus three defense. I'm scared of this thing waking up now and using Stone Edge or something on me. Oh, come on. I think I should have made this move faster. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the high jump kick again because you know I'm a smuck and I just want to risk everything. But high jump kick does take it out even at plus three, so I have no idea what's going on there. I he should have resisted that really well. But he is going to bring in his Umbreon now. I'm like thinking another wall. Are you kidding me? Ugh. But I'm gonna go for the high jump kick. Thankfully, I don't miss again, and that I think that will take out the Umbreon being super effective. Yes. Yeah, so by Umbreon. And then his last Pokemon, I believe. Yeah, Skitty. So, Poison Skitty's not gonna take that well. Gonna take some damage from Pointed Stones. I'm gonna go for that high jump kick, and that will finish off the game. So, I busted through three walls using a Metacham and a Yuxi. How about them apples? Anyway, good game, Blasto. And I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And I will see you guys later. Bye.